Good morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying, a disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin. Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself, or rig the room to your advantage. Leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. You must be Dave Reddy. Uh, Hello. Yes. Welcome You're the one I've been expecting. The special if guest. I am. Okay. So like I told your superiors, to your right. I can get have you inside the, day, the meeting, sir. but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. I'll wait for you here. Don't the ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy, one of the two men your target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting for you in the reception area of the Bayside Center. Take too long. They're expecting us upstairs in the conference room.
Jack Sparta novel in New York. Come on! <laughs> How's this? Where'd you find that? that uh, 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 never mind. I don't want to know. Let's go. Faber's already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. Okay. Let's imagine an invisible barrier between me and you that extends out to about an arm's length from me. Let's try and keep out of that zone. It's my personal space. Understand? This guy's with me. Good today, sir. So, this deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what hey, I was thinking. Hey, good to see you, man. Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know? Buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid! The Marino Cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could've used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so, uh, let's put on our game faces. How you doing? I'm here. Ah, there you are. I expected something different. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, special acquisition gatekeeper working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I see. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. All right. Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. Look, <laughs> completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fellow, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You, suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan?
Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. What else? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough, but there are bushes down there. They break the fall. Might walk away without a single broken bone. Final bid? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. But I would love to see you try that. I think I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at the equipment. I'll come back. Hi. Hi, it's me. I've got the new act lined up. You've reviewed the plans. It's very public because the target is public. I want a big audience for this one. With higher extras as props, telling them it's for a TV show. Add cameras for effect. Getting their assassin in place is all down to social engineering. And that's my headache, not yours. Just make sure the replacement cadaver is where I indicate it, all right? Once Zukov is up in smoke, I'll reveal myself to the would-be assassin getting in the elevator, and he'll take his shot once upstairs. And that's your cue. Good. I've got a ton of things to prepare at my end. Sir. I'm I'll talk to you don't later. Have the right clearance. Sorry. Love them. You must be Mark Faber. I wish I could say I knew all about you, but Dave's been uncharacteristically secretive. You work in weapons development too? More on the practical application side of things. Oh, uh, uh, of course. V v very nice. Well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I, I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. So... Well, the designs were... interesting. Oh, did, did you do them yourself, I wonder? They were drawn up to my specifications, yes. Ah, so oh. that explains the untraditional nature of the work. I like things to be custom. You can say that it's spectacle. Very interesting. Mr. Faber. Right, let's have a look at this. Oh, hey! Uh. Command! Command, you there? We have someone in serious trouble. Could be an assault. Hey, is everybody okay? Office is clear. Moving on. Over. Leave the area in an orderly fashion, please. Gotcha. Loud and clear. Up on your feet, my friend. You're okay. Now, it's for your own safety. Hey, come out. I'm giving you a chance to back down nice and easy. You're kidding me. What is this? Oh, uh, hello? HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler speech. down at the Bayside Center. Esteban Montoya, Hi. beloved nephew Chico, who was shipped to his uncle by the care service in 25 gold rimmed boxes. The once minor Delgado cartel has risen to prominence under the cunning and brutal leadership of Rico Delgado. And lately, the cartel...
which has spawned several popular conspiracy theories involving everyone from the CIA to the Freemasons. Next week's hearing will focus on Swedish banker. Hello, Doctor. The finest boron nitrate nanotubes with a tensile strength surpassing 33,000 megapascals. I'm sure that will impress your engineering. I specifically requested an explosive patent. Pilot, initiate core AI status update. Time. Can you explain the string theory to me? Uh, thanks. Research is going well, sir. That's fine, pal. Disengage diagnostic. Reverse. Hello, Doctor. Hmm. The bomb doesn't actually have to be that powerful. But it is extremely important the explosive element is flashy enough. It's not misdirection. If people aren't looking at it. This isn't exactly a discreet container. I suppose if we add balloons to the event, spray paint this to look like a helium canister, maybe we can make this work. The most ingenious thing done. The active ingredient of Mr. Knox's octane booster is the versatility. We can create multiple compounds from this, effectively shaping its use based on what we add to it. Oh, so? Well, for instance, if you were to require a flashier explosion, the Knox burns quite quickly and doesn't produce long-lasting flames. But if you were to add an adhesive or, or even a magnesium solution to the compound, things would change dramatically. After all, it was originally designed to produce colored flames and smoke for drag racing events. Hmm. That is very useful indeed. I have to say, Mr. Yu, I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Faber. I'll head back to the briefing room for a while. I'll see you later. All suspicious behavior is it's under me. heavy scrutiny, Mr. I just sent you a location for the next gig. I need you to build me a pop-up bookstore there. Should be able to hold about 50 people at a time. There'll be pyrotechnics going off downstairs. So we need to make sure the place doesn't burn down before we're ready for it. 
There's also an elevator in the back, which I need to be able to control if I do not. No. No, the agent should live. We need the witness. We'll detonate once he fires off the first shot. Like he hit on a nearby gas canister. Far fetched, sure. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. I need help here, goddammit! Reporting in! Too much security around. Okay. I think you dropped something. Hey, wait a minute. 